I know what you mean. I'm just happy we can get through. Yeah. Welcome to the ugly truth. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going to start with an awkward moment oh. because it's, it is an awkward moment, but it's not. It is, but it isn't. Okay. okay so um, this was last week. Our dog, Bodega, who's quite senior, mm -hmm. he gets a shot every month to help with his hip pain. Oh. It reduces swelling. He nice. doesn't have to take a pill every day. It's yeah. way better. So we can always tell when it's time. He starts kind of getting a little limpy. Yeah, and we're yeah. like, oh, poor boy. Gets up so slower. Daryl has decided, you know, because now understand that I raised this dog yes he's yours he well i know what you mean he came i mean he used to sit in my lap yes when i would drive to the get cat the cat that i've been telling you about yes like we got it together we had been together yeah. for 15 years when we got this cat mm -hmm. but for whatever reason suddenly daryl has decided that he it's his dog <sighs> so he's like no i'll take him to the vet daryl it's daryl's responsibility uh, now, apparently he's so now decided. the shot mm. yeah so he's taking him to the vet so I'm like, all right, fine. The kitchen was disgusting. And I feel like all I do is clean. The I know, fucking, right? I'm so sick of it. But I'm like, I can't do anything in here until I clean. I and agree. it's always the countertops. Yep. So anyway, I'm cleaning the kitchen. Now I or have. stove. I, oh God, I can't with it. Oh God. Jerry so, can't use the stove. He doesn't seem to understand that every time you use it, you must, must wipe it down. Yes. I know. So I'm like, what are we doing? Like, this is like three foods that you made today. And this thing is, I know. and I get home from work and I'm like, ah! <laughs> so I'm. I've, I've resigned what, myself. I did the dishes. The only way I can get through cleaning the kitchen now, and I don't know why this happened, I have to wear gloves. Uh, so I wear rubber gloves. Okay. And I've been doing it for a while now. And okay. I'm just like, I can get through anything if I'm wearing rubber gloves. I just don't like think touching me anymore. I feel you. Maybe I'm just getting more paranoid. No. I don't know. So I'm wearing, now I've, I have a pair of those yellow mm -hmm. kitchen gloves that I keep for a variety of reasons. I had an industrial pair of rubber gloves that I loved. And I got a hole in it, and I didn't know until I realized that uh -oh. I was, I felt like I had acid in my you hand. touching something. I'm like, what's going on? Why is my hand burning so bad? And I look, and there's a little hole in it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, because I use lava water. Have you, so do I. Have you ever mm -hmm. discovered a hole in your oven mitt that way? Oh, yes. <laughs> I did that with my freaking, yes. my silicone oven mitt, and it was right in between the forefinger and the thumb. It's always there. Always. And God, does that hurt. You're like, like, you're like nowhere. You throw the oven mitt on the floor as hard as you can. And then you're like, like icing your fucking hand. Oh, How did I not worse. see it? Yes. Anyway, so I'm doing the dishes and I always get the ones with little grippies so that I can hold all the things. Right? Daryl has this mug that he has had since before he knew me. Uh oh. He bought it at Disneyland when the okay. Indiana Jones ride came out. Oh. It's like 30 You years can never old. get one. No. Well, no. You can't buy it. Not like that. No. Yeah. No, no. I get it. You can maybe get one on eBay. It's black glass and it's tall, kind of tall, uh -huh. uh, narrow. He takes it whenever he gets a new job. It's the first thing he takes to the office. Okay. It's his little good luck charm. That's cute. And it says Indiana Jones and I don't know what else. It has a little, his hat and a whip in a circle. It's like his thing. How cute. Loves it. Yes. And so it was the first probably thing he moved into my house. It was probably a good conversational piece whenever he takes it to a new job. It's his little baby. Because everyone's like, oh, wow. Yes, yeah, exactly. It. And it's like, if you want to know who he is, here's the mug. So I'm washing it. I'm rinsing it out and I'm getting, and I'm, and I have it in my hand oh, no. and I'm taking it over to put in the dishwasher. It slipped out of my hand. Oh no. And shattered. Oh, fudge. So cold. In the sink. Oh shattered. my God. Now I was shocked. Because I don't make mistakes like this right. ever. Well, and he's not home. You're like, God. What so if I he do? heard it, he'd be like, "What's going on in there?" Yeah, I'd be like, "I don't know." <laughs> so I'm like, I look at him, like, "Oh shit." <sighs> So I pick up all the little pieces. It cannot be glued. It's glass. It's not ceramic. Oh, no. So I and can't. it's old. So it's probably brittle. Yes. I mean the glass. The glass yes. does. You know. Oh no! It's it's old. You so. can be careful with it, and it'll stay intact. Mm -hmm. But if you drop it or nick it, it's curtains mm. so i was oh like oh god jamie what did you so do? i took a picture of it and then i said i have some devastating news <laughs> and i texted him. i wanted him to know before i got home yeah because you don't want him to walk into the door and be like i have to tell you something i said everybody's okay however i broke your mug and i sent him the picture now he was in the middle of dealing with bodega screaming as huskies tend to do when oh, they're not geez. in their normal habitat. Oh God. If they're being messed with in any way whatsoever, some, and so and Daryl even said, he goes, I asked the vet, I'm like, is he always like this? They're like, we have it in his notes that he's quite vocal. What does he do? Does he oh, 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 oh God, 
Huskies are very vocal anyway, okay. but he's extra. Okay. What a surprise. <laughs> so, um, and they don't get many Huskies to be fair. So they like him a lot. Yeah. They're like, he's so great. So anyway, <laughs> well, he's really cute. He's cute. So I'm like, I broke your mug. And he's like, Oh, no, it's okay. Of and course, like, he would well, say that. I mean, so I said, but I'm going to replace it. I know there's one on this planet that I can get you. Yeah. So I went upstairs immediately, went on eBay. There were three. How much were they? They were cheap. Oh, good. After all was said and done, I went with the one where the seller had like 50,000 yes, sales. Yes, yes, Five stars, all that yes. shit. It was a little bit more, but it was worth it. And it's the same it's the same it's, okay, I looked, there was nothing so you could have I, almost done it that told him i didn't no 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 because it's brand new oh and his is faded so right. he would know he'd be like there's something different it's about like when you try mind. to replace a kid's blanket oh you can't they know i tried that once yeah, Malia's like i'm no fool <laughs> she knew she's like this isn't my blanket whose is this who else is here that has blankets because this isn't mine i'm yeah, like all right it. damn it and that new blanket is sitting in my garage. She could care less about it. She's like, I don't know whose this is, but it isn't mine. I'm never adopting it. So I did a rush on it, everything. I'm like, I'm, I'm going all out. I'm getting this mug as quickly as possible. <laughs> so he came home and he's like, hmm, that's really sad. I'm like, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I never make mistakes like this. I'm so sorry. Well, he's like, it's okay. And I said, this mug is older than us as a couple. He's like, I know. And I'm like, okay. So the mug comes. Two days later. He was probably really sad. I but mean, he would never tell you because Daryl's so sweet. You know, the thing is, is that I accidents happen. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, like... During, it's not a sad mad, like, that, damn you. But no, it's no, just no, like no, it happened. And, and, yeah. you know. But also, I'm like, what have you broken of mine? And now you feel like... Oh, God. Jerry's fine. broken so many things of mine. He's like, no, it's okay. I'm like, why is it okay? He broke my favorite curling iron once. He had no idea how mad I was <sighs> about that. I was just... I started getting suspicious because he was very, like... <laughs> It's all right. I understand. You didn't mean. It. I'm like, hmm. What did you break? He's like, okay. What now did we're you even. do? Now he has broken things of mine that have royally pissed me off. He always breaks shit that I can't replace. Like he broke my vent in my car. Oh fuck. He's like, I can replace this. I'm like, you will never replace this. It's yeah. gonna cost four hundred dollars to replace. What right, you right, did. right, right, right. Oh my god, I shit feel like you. that, Jamie. Like, it's what I'm telling you, Jerry will never admit that little <laughs> dent that's in my bumper of my Jeep. I'm like you did this. It was like a month <laughs> after I got it, I'm and like, he I thought I wouldn't it. notice. I was like, are you fucking crazy? And then he's like. Uh, the dent was gone. Oh. So now there's a little paint mark where the, so he fixed it. But he's like, I've never seen a car undent itself before. I'm like, neither have I. <laughs> That's fucking weird. It's a miracle. It's a fucking miracle. <laughs> God damn. I'm like, how stupid do you think I am? So like, the, <sighs> the mug comes and I, I open it and I'm like, please, please, please be the same. Please be, the, please don't even be even remotely different. It's just not faded please. though. I know. And I told him that I'm like, it's not going to be the same, but it is the same mug. It's just not your mug that you hand selected right. at Disneyland and that you've kept for Indiana all Indiana Jones outpost in 1990. So I'm so sorry. So anyway, but it probably did come from that place. Well, it did. Cause they're, you can't get them anymore. Right. They're done. They're whatever there is. The only place you could buy them at the time. Yes. And, and once so they're gone, they're gone. Somebody so did luckily buy one. somebody had it anyway. Thank God. So he pulls it out and I'm like, here he goes. Oh, look at it. It's, it's like new. And I go, yeah, I don't think anybody's ever used it. I go, but let's not drink out of it until we wash Hell it. Hell no. He goes, well, well, I'll wash it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't need another accident. So he's in the kitchen and I'm in there and I'm cleaning up all the wrapping and stuff. And he's like, I don't think it's as tall as the original. And I'm like, what did you say? <laughs> Jamie. And he goes, he goes, oh no, wait, it is. And I'm like, Jamie. No, he said that from the kitchen. He's no, like, oh, I know, but do you have to crucify the man? You know he's he's really sad. And I'm like, he's trying really hard not to make you feel bad. And he comes out and he's kind of smiling. And I'm like, are you giving me shit? He goes, no, I really, I thought maybe it wasn't as tall as the original. I'm like, oh, God, I'm just, I'm going to buy them all. <laughs> now we're going to thing. measure them. I'm going to buy them all that are on eBay. And you're going to have many. And now you're going to have them all. And there will be no oh, doubt God, that they're the same size. And what I want to know is how did he know? Because we threw away the mug, the broken mug. Well, no. And he, he's, he's like, oh, no, it's the same. I'm like, no, because his brain is telling him this is not your mug. And I guess it'll do. 
And it was really nice of Jamie to replace it because I know she feels bad and she doesn't feel bad about that many things, Mm-mm. which you don't. So know. he knows you feel bad. He's not trying to make you feel worse, but he was yeah. disappointed fully. And he's not allowed to express that. He's allowed. I, but if I he gave does, him then you're the, like, all the opportunities. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? He didn't even have the balls to do it in the same room, though. He did it in the kitchen. He knows better. He's like, it's not the same size. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I bent over backwards for you. Jesus Christ. I spent $28. You broke his favorite (laughs) mug that he had for 30 years. I know. It's irreplaceable. It's true. It is absolutely correct. He's he's allowed to be sad. Like, (laughs) you forgive me. (laughs) It's the same. You must. Who cares? (laughs) I just know that this is going to come back and I just don't know how or when, but it's going to come back. No. Just like when I called him an ashy bitch, he's told everybody. <laughs> I didn't know. Everyone. He never told me. He was in Atlanta and he was with a coworker. Well, I, I don't know if he's a coworker, but. What was he so angry about that he would have said that to you? A what? The ashy bitch? G- yeah. No, I called him an ashy bitch. Oh, you did. Oh, oh dare. I was about to say, wait, what? <laughs> I practiced slip around in this house i'm so moisturized i mean (laughs) no i mean we've talked about the fact that our husbands they don't care for their skin they very no right that they very rarely will actually like call us a name oh god no matter how angry yeah right one time daryl tried to call me a bitch once i'm like go ahead say it i mean seriously though in all he's never he's like i don't i'm not gonna call you that i'm like what what are you gonna call me jerry has oh i know i mean i can count on and I, I'm not lying. I can literally count yes. on one hand in yeah. 25 years. Sure. But, uh, but I remember <laughs> exactly oh, the fight, where we day. were, what, what room we were in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I've called him <laughs> everything you can think of. It's so true. I called, him, times. I called Daryl pussy the other day. I don't even remember what uh-huh. it was. He goes, why are you calling me that? I'm like, cause you are. <laughs> it was, it was in jest, but it was whatever. But still, anyway, so, um, he was in Atlanta and his um, co-worker had to go to Sephora because he's like, I left my moisturizer at home and I really need and it. And it was a dude? It was a guy. Okay. And he's, yeah, yes, it was. And he's like, okay. He goes, well, I'll go with you because it's a really cool mall. It's, they have like, yeah. they have like Gucci and Versace. Yeah. There. It's a really nice mall. What, so where, what city was this? In, in Atlanta. Oh, yes. Okay. So they go into mm. the Sephora and he's trying to get his thing. And Daryl goes, yeah, I had to go to Sephora with Maddie because he needs his met his um moisturizer and he can't literally can't like function yeah like and i can't be here i'm like i can it. relate personally i can understand that it's like the, literally the first thing i pack when i'm mm-hmm. getting ready to leave so i don't forget it and i'm like okay cool and i go you know you could take a couple of cl- of clues from your from your coworker. he's like what i go you're an ashy bitch right like, get some get some stuff like yeah and he's like <gasps> he's like <sighs> So we're at dinner with a bunch of friends. He goes, and he had had some drinks. Oh. He goes, my wife called me an ashy bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are like, you doing? First of all, I didn't say it like, you ashy bitch. But now you have to explain. And I was like, no, I don't actually, Stephanie. I just oh. like, well, you are. <laughs> I'm like, it would be great if you would, I don't know, care for the largest organ that we have. Yeah, it's true. Is it so hard? No. Just because you're a guy, you think that you don't have to care for your skin? I agree. Put some freaking stuff on. And I even told him, like, your own father has a skincare regime. Right? I mean, what are we doing? My husband is not a, what is the word, a metrosexual mm. in any way, but he is a lotion whore. Good. He so, knows. Yeah, he does. And I don't See? know where that came from, but he's always, always, always been that way. I didn't have to teach it to because him, thank it, God. it feels good to not be molting. He didn't like, yeah, he doesn't like that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. he's like, do you think I should? I'm like, you know what? I'm done harassing you yeah. about your skincare. I have purchased things for him. Yeah. I have, I've done all the things. At this point, I've even suggested that he go to my person to get yeah. Botox. He's like, I will never. And I go, well, then what? get the laser therapy. He's like, I'd rather do lasers than that. I'm like, first of all, she's not going to give you lasers. Because if she did, you three layers of skin would leap off of your face oh before God. she ever got. Because you're so dry. And I, I remember it was, it was Bill Burr, and it was a long time ago. He's he's married to a gorgeous woman of color. I mean, stunning woman. Oh, I've seen her. S- beautiful She's kid. on. Beautiful lady. I think she's on The Real Housewives. She was she she did do a she was uh, a guest she was a guest yes yes 
anyway um and she's beautiful he when they're first getting together you know she knows how to take care of her skin uh-huh. and so he goes why do you always do that she's like take a butter knife and scratch it across your shin oh god ew so he did it and the amount of skin flakes that came ew. off of him and he, she's like you just can't see it because you're white true but when women of color or dark, darker darker that's where, that's where people, that term comes from ashy yeah. yes and i go with darker skin people do not care for their skin they it's visible it's gray because yeah. they're they have dead skin yeah which is why they we look, all have it it's just exactly ours is hidden and w- when i heard that and he said that he was so so now of course he slathers himself in in lotion and mm-hmm. does all that takes care of him, his skin and he looks a lot better um and i'm it like it's better i hate having dry skin i was not good at moisturizing for a really long time i was not good at moisturizing my face Same. i used to mo- moisturize everything else but i don't now, know why now yeah. it's like it's the only well, thing the I only do. reason why i didn't do my face in the past is because you thought you were told it would break you out well and yes it's lies but it's a lie it's it lies. is a lie well and also the product we have nowadays is so much better i mean oh, everything I used to have fragrance in it you do know, you remember when we used to flavored freaking yeah remember when we used know. to burn our skin with sea breeze yes it literally was alcohol drying uh, our skin although i still do use a dab of it on a zit i have um, oh okay like if you do it yeah. with a q-tip maybe? yes I okay do it with that's Q-tip. good some people just use toothpaste i would never no i would never but i mean it but it i only do it because it freaking works i know it really does and then i'm well, sure it's over it out. it just dries it all out yeah but i mean if you have something huge and you have a meeting the next day and you're like i can't with this <laughs> like I'm not going with this thing on my nose tomorrow. I'm like uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, so, well we yeah. need to wrap it up, but I wanted to ask this is something that I had on my weird note app again. Okay. <laughs> and I know it's going to be hard for you to answer straight up, but try to go with your first thought. All right. If you knew you only had one more day to live? Yes. What would your last what would your preferred la- final meal on this earth be? Oh my god. And it could be anything. Any like any something that I couldn't normally afford or it something. Could be, yeah, like your fantasy final meal. My fantasy final meal, and this is probably going to seem seem weird, but it's the thing I treat myself with every time I either feel like shit, like like mentally, mm-hmm. or I'm overwhelmed for some reason, mm-hmm. or if I'm really really happy, and okay. I'm like, I just want, I love a pokey. Now here's the thing, <gasps> oh, God, it can't just be any pokey. If it was going to be my last meal, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. It's gotta be it per- would be, it's gotta be perfect. It would have to be the kind of pokey that you can get these exotic fishes from Japan or somewhere mm-hmm. like you can only get it in that part of the world yes you know like the most elegant luxurious type of fish ever velvety melt in your mouth stuff that i've never had before probably yes. yeah you know I, i'm not i'm not limited to five proteins nope. for 21 dollars. you know mm-hmm. and caviar with it and oh. all of the luxurious things that go with pokey that sounds so i delish. and lately i've been i know pokey bars have figured out some things and they like now you can mix your your base you used to be able to just get like sushi rice, rice or white ri- or brown rice. Now it's like soba noodles oh. or green microgreens or other greens. You know, they have like mm. all these different things that you can like. So you can do like half sushi rice, half soba noodles. <laughs> My mouth is watering. Jamie, <laughs> I'm like these, someone finally got smart and like figured out some shit with pokey. Cause That's it's amazing. like now you can mix all these. And I'm like, I could, I literally, I have to sit in my car and eat it. I put oh, my sunshade yeah. up and you're just like, <laughs> so you can't see me. Yep. Yeah. And my windows are really, really tinted in my car. So, so you, you can cannot see just in fully. Enjoy. And fully. Yeah. The only thing is, is like, I have to cover my, I have to like cape myself in napkins. <laughs> so you don't get sauce. Because I spill it everywhere. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's not fun. Every time I think of my final meal, I always think about the most perfectly prepared piece of beef <sighs> that i can imagine yeah that might be my poke bowl with like some wagyu with it with an incredible prepared potatoes like yeah, wispy soft potatoes just oh my god i'm so hungry right now i know i haven't but, eaten today so and my. when i so when i think of that I, it's comfort yeah because especially if it's like your final meal but then i also think about sushi and stuff well surf and turf is some fam- of, is popular for a reason but it can't just be lobster and crab no, no, no. It's surf and be... turf is not I, from per top chef surf and turf is basically like a seafood and a protein okay it doesn't have to be traditional yeah. it was like oh lobster and steak yes but that's it's not, not necessarily what anymore. it means yeah but just the perfectly prepared sush yeah and you love um I like love a white sushi. fish you love halibut oh my god and um, imagine stuff like that so when i think about my final meal it would be 
just like you, the most decadent prepared favorite food I already mm. have, but just next level Do you have a cut of prepared. meat that you like? Well, I'm always, right now, and this is kind of your fault because I think you told me about <laughs> it, so I can't stop thinking about it, so that's all I can think about currently is that prime rib restaurant in San Francisco. Oh, oh. Jamie, have you guys gone yet? No, I want to go. Oh, go. You want to go? Yes. I saw it and I was like, I told her, I'm like, we have to go here. Yeah. Like we have to go. We here. must. I want to get, I want that cream spinach in my body. Jamie. Immediately. I, I mean, we would have to, because I think you get a side and I'm like, oh no, one side. Is I not. want all the sides. And people do this and they're like, well, I thought I could eat it. Cause I was like, I couldn't pick. And then they have this huge oh table of food and they're like, Ugh. that's all right. I'll eat it for a weekend. That's it's what like I'm saying. <laughs> Don't we eat leftovers for days after Thanksgiving? God, yes. Yes. So we I keep checking the turkey until it has a smell. I was like, all right, turkey's done. (sighs) Just, I don't want to, oh my God, my my teeth hurt. My mouth is My mouth Your husband is like the meat master. Can he not make us one? No, he could. Yeah. Yeah, he totally could. We have, in fact, right now, we have a um, tomahawk steak in our freezer right now. I know, I know. (sighs) Why are we talking about this? Like, I'm dying. I don't know. I just wanted to end it on a really good note. (laughs) No, you did. But you know what? There's this girl I watch on TikTok, and I can't watch her when I'm hungry or premenstrual, but she's keto. So she doesn't eat carbs, uh, right? But the foods she eats are so much different than like the normal average keto person. Like right. I, I've been so uninspired by seeing people that do. They keto. They say keto is very unhealthy for you. I agree, and I would never do it. I did keto once; my pee turned green, and I said, "You know what? Yeah, I think I'm done, I'm done doing this. it. I stopped." Yeah, I'm never doing it. Yeah. But but the but and she I don't does. watch her because she's keto. No, no, I get it. But her food, but her food, yeah. So she she eats with a very and she's a nurse. So what's very common for her is to eat a sweet potato mm-hmm. and put things in it. Ooh. Like mix, she'll put like she'll eat it like she'll take a chicken sausage and like stick it like a <gasps> hamburger bun and be like, <sighs> oh that's weird. It it is weird, but I would eat that all day long. I would too. That sounds delicious. It's just my thing, and I don't know if you're, some people aren't sweet potato people. I like it. It just has to be really savory because if some of them are very sweet. Yep, I'm all with you. I love mine with like tons of black pepper. Oh my god, that sounds and butter, and they're really good for women. They are. Yeah, they have a true. lot of potassium in them. Did we and, learn nothing from Second in the City the movie? <laughs> where samantha rubs yams on herself true they have forgot about that speaking of there's a new season that's about to drop i know are I'm we gonna, gonna watch it of course it. i'm gonna watch it there's nothing more that did I it love. already drop or is no, getting no, ready no. to no yeah no there's nothing more i love to watch than hating sarah jessica parker <laughs> i know i don't know why i hate, God, her, I hate so much. her so much no i hate I, her i don't know if i well as a human being i'm sure she's fine like if she's i met very her, intelligent if i met her i'm sure she's just perfectly lovely so i've heard she's incredibly successful she has a shoe line which was a very smart move i didn't even know she had a shoe line i've never seen a show is it successful yes very successful and it's she definitely segued from the carrie bradshaw role and she's like i should definitely be market i should definitely be in the shoe business and she is and it's and they're really pretty shoes okay i don't know how they i've never seen one in person me either but um from what i understand they're very low they're a luxury shoe it's not a cheapy you're not gonna find it type shoe yeah you're not gonna they're like jimmy chew level gotcha um but they're very nice and i'm sure she's and she's very creative and you know what and i've loved a lot of the crap that she's been in in her life well i mean she footloose yeah 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 and what was that one movie where she was you can't date? buy a diaphragm in the mail um <laughs> yes she well i mean her part of her shtick now as an actress is or an actor whatever you want to call it is her fashion yeah. all of the fashion all of the big major fashion designers give her stuff send her mm-hmm. stuff look, like wear this yes. so she has worn some really like crazy edgy like really yeah. cool stuff but i agree but i guess we i just struggle with the kim trial thing same it's literally the only thing and you know what sucks is that you're not gonna like everybody you work with no. and it just happened to get a little too public because kim yeah. cattrall has boundaries and she's she like does. look you guys can throw all the money you want at me but it was not a wonderful set for me at yeah. the end and i don't want to do it anymore right and i don't need the money that bad she's doing just fine she's doing amazing on that note not to really revert back to it too much before we say goodbye, but everybody's like, how is Kim going to recover from the Taylor Swift song? Thank you, Amy. It's so oh, devastating. God. She crossed the line. Jamie, she's a mother. I'm living for it. And I'm like, and then and I'm like, she's a billionaire. She's going to be just she's fine. fine. She's fine. But here's she's the thing fine. about Kim, because I, I know you haven't watched her in a long time, but I go. Yeah. Yeah. She's so, yeah, she, she can't like, well, I, she can't retort it. She can't retort she's it. She's not a writer. The truth she's is nothing. the truth. Yes. We all know what happened. And Kanye is so fucking crazy now what is she that everybody's do? questioning like, what the fuck? You know, I will say this. If you really listen to those words, she does thank her. She does. She's like, I wouldn't be where I am if it hadn't been for you. She's like, you pushed me. Yeah. You made me 
me you better. made me you made i hated and you so bad that i had to do good not only that but it made her tougher it did and that's what bullies do if you use it to your advantage that's true some of our bullies are homeless and that's fine <laughs> And I may say that I have and no And some of our bullies sympathy. are still single at 52. And that's fine too. We're only married in their very early 20s. That's all right. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. It's totally fine. It's fine. But they're desperate for companionship. They've it's dated okay. literally every dirtbag we ever went to high school with. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. So and did they make us better people? I mean, I think it's fun. Yeah. I don't know if I they made- would say yes because yeah. honestly, no one has intimidated me since because i won't allow it i definitely know my worth let's put it that way i mean after that whole i mean she bullied me for years yeah and after that i had bullies in high school but i was never afraid of them i was like you can talk and they they talk mad shit and there are people to this day who believe those lies and i'm like (laughs) you go right ahead they're fucking cunts yeah (laughs) and they know it but it didn't intimidate me and it didn't change anything about me even in high school when you're at your weakest really you're your weakest because you're growing up and you haven't discovered who you are yet. I'm like, you um, never bullied me the way Jody bullied me, so. Jamie, I'm telling you, that song Slut by Taylor. Oh, I love that song. It, it's it's all of us. Yeah, it's, I love it. I, well, maybe not all of us, but if, if you were ever slut shamed because you were pretty or people liked you or whatever. Or and, God forbid, you know what? There was a girl in our school who was slut shamed and I never understood why they did that. And she probably wasn't a She slut. wasn't. I, the man I lost my fucking virginity to. Was, I was a virgin. I had was done a it slut. One time. <laughs> no, he told everybody it was a slut i'm like god i did it once (laughs) you know i'm like how am i a slut you know it was awful so yeah i i i I agree with you i'm not mad that they're that they're just dragging fucking kim right now no i think she deserves it yeah but i mean and and honestly i thought taylor was nice to her i saw a tiktok where the guy was like oh the 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 taylor the swifties are are just dragging kim right now like if you've ever looked at her comments i'm like you know what i haven't looked at her instagram in a while even though i do follow her i I follow kim yeah so i went on her and she just dropped some new skims and Mm. i was like let me just look so i went into the comments and if her comments are always like you know in the hundreds of thousands sure there were so many pages of thank you, Amy. <gasps> that was all it was. <laughs> and so then I went to like older posts, like in the last two weeks, yeah, since they're all the same. They are all <laughs> like that. Hey, you know what? I will say this. Amy's trying to act like she's so unbothered. She's so bothered. I mean, she doesn't even run that account. But you know what's great? No, but is you know she knows. Skims is really good. I know. I love it. I will never it's take so away from good. Skims. It's everyone amazing. I know who's ever worn anything of Skims, they love it. I have a skim. I have a, one Skims thing, and I want more. Yeah. And every time I go to buy it, they're sold out. I know. I know. So she needs to be better with yeah. that. Yeah. I don't get it. Well, because it just creates demand. I suppose. And you'll pay what they're worth because there's not that many. I guess. It's fine. But there's nothing wrong with keeping a supply. You know, I mean, if you can never get something after a while, you're just going to give up. Skims is going to end up. Well, you can buy some skims at certain things, but it'll end up at Kohl's just like everything. Eventually. Yeah. Well, I mean, then, that's then it won't, she'll sell it. And then it won't be good. Well, she'll sell it. Yeah. She's not going to. I don't think she plans on keeping it forever. I mean, that's no, not, I'd sell it too. Yeah. She's Hell selling yeah. now. Why it's worth so much fucking money. <sighs> anyway. All right. Well, thank you so much for thank listening. Thank you, Amy. We, we appreciate it. We will be back. Bye.